When you activate a grid, whether it's from the precision menu or workspace settings, a special grid layer will appear in your layers panel. Once activated, you can make some adjustments to its orientation on the canvas. Dragging the crosshair in the middle allows you to move the grid around. If you need to rotate the grid, grab the control point on this circle. Every 45 degrees, the app will suggest a snap point for easier control. If you don't want to use this suggestion, just wait a second or two and it'll disappear, allowing you to stop wherever you like. Optionally, you can type in the exact angle using the measurements pop-up. When you're done editing, tap off to the side to solidify it. When dealing with perspective grids, you may find it easier to start with one of the presets that's close to the point of view you're looking for. It's also a good idea to set up an artboard when using perspective grids to give you an idea of composition. When you activate a precision grid, the line in the middle becomes the horizon line, which you can move and rotate with the controls or gestures, but you also get to control the vanishing points. Tap on any control point to adjust its position. As a shortcut, you can tap and hold directly on the vanishing point to adjust it right away. You can also do the same with the artboard lines, by the way. These are all part of the undo stack, so you can always go back to where you started. The grid layer will always appear at the bottom of the layer stack, but you can move it with a tap and hold on the layer and dragging it into the desired slot. You can also tap any active layer for options to adjust its opacity, adjust settings, or delete it completely.